Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on circle of curvature. In this session, we are going to learn the basic formulas for ROC that is radius of curvature, COC center of curvature and COC circle of curvature. After learning the formula, we are going to solve some simple problems on circle of curvature. Let us go into the assumptions. So, we know that y dash is going to be dy by dx but in this unit concern we are going to change the notation y dash and y double dash etc it is good but we are going to use a new notation which is more comfortable for us to solve this problems so i am going to assume y1 is equal to dy by dx then obviously you know y2 is equal to d square y by dx square we just need only y1 and y2 we don't need other notations because we are going to do the first derivative and second derivative and sometimes we derive x as a function of y in this case we are going to find dx by dy d square x by dy square in this situation we assume x1 is dx by dy and obviously x2 is d square x by dy square now we are going to write the formula for radius of curvature in the Cartesian form which consists of x and y and the notation we are going to use is rho and remember student it is radius of curvature it is always positive we can never write any negative values so in some book they take modulus but it is okay we can just simply take it as rho because radius means always it is going to be positive so now you understand why I took this notation y1 y2 so now let us go to the formula for the radius of curvature so the formula for radius of curvature is rho is equal to 1 plus y1 square whole power 3 by 2 divided by y2 so that's why i took this y1 y2 this is very easy for us instead of taking y dash y double dash this is more comfortable because writing y double dash whole square or y dash whole square Maybe we do some typos or errors. So, this will be very easy for you to remember and problem solving purposes. Very important, when I write this formula, my denominator y2 should not be 0. If it is 0, what we have to do? We have to change the problem. Now, you have to go for this case and we have to find x1, x2. Now, the formula will become 1 plus x1 square whole power 3 by 2 divided by x2 so now it will not be 0 okay so let us go into the remaining formulas and we'll do some problems next so in the previous slides we are seeing the assumptions for cartesian form sometimes we write in terms of parametric form x and y are the functions in terms of t for example do you remember x equal to a t square y equal to 2 a t this is the parametric form for the parabola y square equal to 4ax. Similarly, the parametric form for the parabola x square equal to 4ay is x equal to 2at, y equal to at square. So, in this situation, we are going to take y dash because already we use y1. Now, y dash is dy by dt, y double dash is d square y by dt square. Similarly, x dash is dx by dt, x double dash is d square x by dt square now let us see the formula for radius of curvature rho in terms of x dash y dash x double dash and y double dash this is the formula we can write this as x dash whole square plus y dash whole square whole power 3 by 2 divided by x dash y double dash minus x double dash y dash this is going to be my rho okay now we are going to write some standard formulas which we use in the problem. As we said earlier, we are going to take rho as 1 plus y1 square whole power 3 by 2 divided by y2. Next, in exams, they will ask what is the curvature? Curvature is k. k is nothing but 1 by rho. So, curvature is reciprocal of radius of curvature. So, we learn how to find radius of curvature. Next, we are going for the 
center of curvature we are going to take the notations as x bar and y bar x bar is equal to x minus y1 into 1 plus y1 square divided by y2 i just highlight this as in red color because when we solve the problem i am going to find this red color term alone then it is easy for me to find x bar now we can see the formula for y bar so now we understand both for x bar and y bar this term is common so if i find this first that is if i find 1 plus y1 square by y2 alone then easily just adding with y i'll get y bar multiplying with y1 x minus y1 into this term will give you x bar and finally we know circle of curvature we know general equation of circle x minus a whole square y minus b whole square is equal to r square where the center is a comma b and radius is r here we have the center x bar comma y bar radius is going to be rho so obviously circle of curvature is x minus x bar whole square plus y minus y bar whole square is equal to rho square so in the problem solving point of view what you are going to do for a given problem first i have to bring y is equal to f of x suppose if it is not working your y2 is getting 0 then what you have to do bring x in terms of y now step 1 suppose i am bringing y in terms of x yeah, step 1 i am going to find y1 y2 the first derivatives and very important radius of curvature we are going to find for a particular point a comma b it is not the same for the whole curve all the theoretical discussion we'll do in a separate video since it is a problem solving video i'm just doing problems alone okay let us discuss in terms of problem solving a given problem y equal to f of x first i'm going to find y1 y2 this is my step one and there will be a point given a comma b substituting the points here i'll be getting y1 and y2 as a numerical values this is my step one then step two i am going to find radius of curvature rho important it is always positive step three i am going to find x bar y bar that is my circle of curvature using this formulas and final step is going to be circle of curvature substituting rho x bar y bar here will be getting the circle of curvature okay let us go into a problem students find the equation of circle of curvature at the point very good so the point is given as cc xy equal to c square is the equation so i have to write y equal to c square by x this is my function that is y equal to f of x usually i used to thought with the table here i'm not doing because in the taylor series all the previous problems the differentiation is very simple either here it is not complicated it takes one or two steps so i'm writing one by one instead of going by table format so y is equal to c square by x remember student x power n differentiation is n into x power n minus 1 1 by x power n differentiation is minus n by x power n plus 1 why i am telling this we have 1 by x here okay let us go into the problems first we are going to find y1 y1 is simply dy by dx so differentiation of c square by x is going to be c square is constant 1 by x differentiation is minus 1 by x square now we have go for y2 y2 you just don't get panic simply remember this as differentiation of y1 with respect to x so if we differentiate this minus c square by x square so minus c square will be constant then 1 by x square differentiation is minus 2 by x cube so minus into minus plus we can write in a typed version so you can see it as 2 c square by x cube so just now we found y1 y2 this is my step one as i said initially substitute the point c comma c both in y1 and y2 will get the numerical value so when you substitute x equal to c here minus c square by c square it is going to be minus 1 when you substitute x equal to c here 2 c square divided by c cube that is going to be 2 by c so my y1 and y2 is ready step 1 gets over now we are going for step 2 we have to find radius of curvature let us write the formula for 
radius of curvature we know y1 is going to be minus 1 so 1 plus minus 1 whole square whole power 3 by 2 divided by 2 by c so minus 1 whole square is 1 1 plus 1 2 2 power 3 by 2 when this 2 by c go to the numerator it will become c by 2 so it is going to be c into 2 root 2 divided by 2 2 2 get cancel c root 2 we have to write the positive value so we can see this is my row that is my radius of curvature done next we have to find the center of curvature for this we need x bar and y bar just recall the formula for circle of curvature so i want to find first 1 plus y1 square by y2 then it is easy for me to find x bar y bar so 1 plus y1 square by y2 it is simply 1 plus minus 1 whole square it is going to be 1 plus 1 2 and c by 2 will come to the numerator 2 2 get cancel therefore this term is going to be simply c very easy students i always prefer to solve first y bar because y bar is very easy y bar is y plus the data which we have c okay now we don't know what is y so we don't know what is x and y but in the question it is given as c comma c so just substitute the value of x here and substitute the value of y here problem gets over now first we find always y bar so y is c because c comma c is the given point next 1 plus y1 square by y2 just now we found it as c so c plus c 2c y bar over now let us go for x bar this is c and y1 just now we found it is going to be minus 1 x is c c minus of minus 1 into c minus into minus plus so c plus c it is 2c so both x bar and y bar is 2c 2c so my center of curvature is 2c comma 2c done students next finally the big boss circle of curvature we know the formula we know x bar y bar 2c comma 2c we know radius of curvature c into root 2 substitute here and the value is going to be 2 c square why i am writing c into root 2 if i write root 2 c many students in the exams sometimes they write root 2 into c these errors are coming i am just writing in the form c into root 2 so the final answer is this this is the circle of curvature for the rectangular hyperbola xy is equal to c square at the point c comma c hope you understand thanks for watching subscribe to our channel and share to your friends see you in the next video bye bye